much for watching and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this spring makeup look right here. It's very orangey and bronzy and chewy and glowing. I absolutely love it. I love it, love it. And I added a little something to my hair just to, you know, make sure that you guys are aware that it is spring. <laughs> I love this. I hope you guys like it. Um, it's very out of my comfort zone. I've never really done an orange lip or an orange eye and both together as well as I thought would be too much. But I like it and it's refreshing. Something different. I wanted to try something different but let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this look. I hope you guys like it and if you want to know how to get this look then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already done my base and I will link everything I've used down below in the description box. But for concealer, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to be applying that in a triangle shape underneath my eyes, chin, bridge of my nose, forehead, and also in between my brows because I have this massive pimple, kind of looking like a third eye. And I just want to give it some extra coverage, but yeah. Okay, so to blend everything out, I'm going in with my Real Technique sponge and then to set everything, I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This will just help set that concealer to make sure that it does not crease. And I'm also applying this on my lid just to prepare my lid for the eyeshadows to come. This will just make the eyeshadows a lot easier to blend. Using a baby wipe, I just cleaned my lips and then I went in with the baby lips in cherry just to make my lips a little bit softer and just prepare it for the lipstick to come. And now I'm going to go in with my favourite bronzer at the moment. This is the MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm not really using this to contour but more to give me some colour because I feel like after that concealer and foundation I was looking a tad bit pale. But yeah, I'm just going to be applying that on my cheekbones, temple and jawline. Using my MAC Gold Deposit, I'm just going to be applying a tad bit of that on top of the bronzer that we just applied. This will just make the skin a little bit more luminous. Oh, look at that. I only added a little bit. It gives you such a lovely bronze deposit glowing look. Absolutely love this. I make sure not to apply too much. Okay, now for that extra glow, I'm going in with my favourite, favourite highlighter. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. Ooh, look at that. This is my favourite highlighter, by the way. Um, I just recently bought the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop and I loved it. But this gorgeous Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter is still my favourite. Look at that. Oh. Now I'm just going to be contouring my nose a little bit using that MAC Give Me Sun and then I'm going to go in with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter just to apply a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose, bridge, cupid's bow and temple. Oh my god, I need to stop using this finger. Let me switch fingers, there you go. I don't want to flick you guys off. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on the tip and on the bridge. Oh. Okay, so using the MAC Raw Eyeshadow, I'm just going to be applying that all over my crease with a fluffy brush. And I'm starting off with little product and building it up until it's as intense as I want it to be.
Okay, now using a deeper orange shade, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Red Brick eyeshadow. I'm gonna be applying this on the outer corners and crease, making it very intense. Okay, so can we talk about that heart animation right there, guys? It took me about an hour to learn how to do that. I had to watch loads of YouTube tutorials. So please, everyone, a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now just applying that Berlini eyeshadow all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with the red brick eyeshadow again, just to intensify the outer corner and crease. Okay, so I'm just going to be applying some of that Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter in my inner corners and then going in with the MAC Raw Eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying that all over my lower lash line and then for my lower outer corners, I'm just going to be applying some of the MAC Red Brick Eyeshadow. Okay, so I did a wing and for that I used the L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner and then for mascara I used the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So I really struggled to do my eyeliner on camera, so I had to do it out of camera, sorry guys. So you guys can skip lashes, but I'm just going to add some falsies just to, well, just to make my lashes look nicer. So. <laughs> If you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how to apply false lashes, then please give this video a thumbs up. Going in with the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Red Square, I just applied this all over my lips. I felt like it was a tad bit too dark, although I loved it, I wanted it to be a brighter orange, so then over top I went in with the MAC Morange Lipstick. going with the NARS Taj Mahal uh, blush and this is an orange blush now it's very very pigmented so I suggest you to really tap off the excess on the back of your hands so let's see how this goes hope I don't regret doing this So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Like I said, it's very out of my comfort zone. I'm not used to playing with colors. I tend to gravitate more towards the golden and the natural shades, but this is different. I wanted to try something new. I hope you guys like it. If you did, let me know in the comments below or give it a thumbs up or do both. That would be wonderful. And yeah, until next time, take care. Bye.